think the game of football is, is life. I mean, you get knocked down, you, you're injured, you got to come back. And that's why so many people have flocked to him that really may not be great football fans, but love the story of Marcus Latimer. Here's a young man that went through two horrific incidences, and now he's walking. In his mind, he wants to be great at whatever it is he does. You know, we try to teach our young men characters what you are when no one's watching. Marcus Lattimore is part of the family here. Uh, growing up in Duncan, South Carolina, we didn't need much. You know, it's my home, I love it. It's a country town, 3,000 people, and we love football. The community of Duncan is just so tight-knit. It's like a family, I know everybody. And uh, my mother, she's been at every game since I've been seven years old. She's never missed a game in her life. And um, she, you know, she's my rock. She's been there for me. You know, I've been fortunate, you know, in my life to have great teachers in my life, great coaches. But, you know, one person that stands out is my head coach in high school, and that's Bobby Bentley. You know, he taught us way more than football. You know, he taught us the game of life and how you win in life. He taught me trust. He taught me, um, you know, accountability. Just to know that I've always got him to call on is very important. My pastor McDowell, you know, he's been very influential. I talk to him all the time because he know faith's important. It's the number one in my life. You think about what Marcus has been through. I mean, this is two big injuries and he's ready to go to the next level. You know, when I'm in a big game, I'm anxious to get the ball, especially when the play needs to be made. And I'm really excited, you know, to hear that crowd once I score. I feel like I'll be, you know, connected to all my players, all my coaches, you know, because they were there for me, you know, during my hard times and good times. And for the last six years, I know, I've sent my kids a text every morning, every morning that says, good morning, have a blessed day. We phone, we text, uh, we had a little Twitter going, uh, but we're, we're constantly in contact. Wherever he is, whatever he's doing, he's going to sense and feel the importance of being connected. I have no clue where I'll be headed. I feel like I'll be, you know, connected to all my players, all my coaches, stay connected with Duncan, Spartanburg, Columbia, the whole state of South Carolina.